to my channel. My name is Jeannie. Today I'd like to show you how I crochet this beautiful and simple um, coaster. And with that, I'm also going to show you how I made this tray so you can store all of your coaster. It looks really nice and simple, but I love it. Sometimes simple is just the best, right? But yeah, this is uh, what I'll be showing you. Okay, if you guys are interested in learning how I crochet these, then please continue watching. For supplies, you'll be needing just, you know, any kind of yarn you want. I'm using um, acrylic yarn, and this is a uh, size 4 yarn, and this is, uh, I love this yarn from Hobby Lobby. Today, I'll probably be crocheting in this graybeard color. Graybeard to complete my set. And for the tray, I'm going to be using a five millimeter hook. Come on, okay, five millimeter hook, it's the H hook. And for the um, um, coaster itself, I'm gonna be using a smaller size four and a half millimeter hook, okay? Then you'll be needing one of these yarn needles and of course scissors. Let's begin. I'm gonna begin by showing you how I crochet this tray. This is the same exact um, um, pattern as the coaster itself on the bottom, and then it builds up to become a tray. So let's start. I'm going to make my tray in white. Let's start off with a uh, magic circle or magic ring. I'm going to chain one. And then we're going to put eight single crochet into uh, the ring. One, two, three, four. Okay, that's eight single crochet. And then uh, we're going to go ahead and pull this tail to close up the ring. Okay. Now we'll slip stitch to the top of the first single crochet. And I'm sorry, I forgot to uh, remind you guys that we're using the uh, five millimeter hook for the tray. Okay. Now we're going to chain two. This does not count as a double crochet. We're going to put two double crochet into each stitch. So that's going to be equal to 16 double crochet around. So here's your first one. One, two. Okay, next stitch, put two more. Okay, last stitch, two double crochets, that's 15 and 16. Okay, to end this row, we'll slip stitch to the top of the first double crochet. Okay, now we're going to start the next row with a chain one. And we'll be putting one single crochet into this stitch. Okay, and then two single crochet into the next. Okay, one in the next, and then two in the next. So we'll be alternating between one and two in each stitch around, and then that will total to uh, about 24 stitches, okay? So I just ended with two here, so we'll do one here. two. One, two, one, two, Okay. 
one the last stitch will have two single crochet that's 24 okay now slip stitch to the top of the first single crochet all right now to begin the next round we're going to chain two that does not count as a double crochet we'll be putting two double crochet into each stitch all the way around that will equal to 48 double crochets okay first stitch one double crochet and then two okay next stitch two double crochets last stitch that's 47 and 48 all right to end this round let's go ahead and slip stitch to the top of the first uh, double crochet all right so this is uh, this next round is the only round that's a little bit different because we want uh, the base to be a little bit wider than the actual uh, coaster itself so we're going to chain one and put 48 half double crochets around okay the coaster will have just 48 single crochets so let's do 48 half double crochets all the way around Now, if you guys use uh, cotton yarn, you guys could easily use these as um, reusable cotton rounds, kind of like. So, I mean, they make great gifts as well. If you uh, decide to make something like this with cotton yarn and give this as a gift. Like I said, this could make a good uh, face scrubber. I'm just using whatever yarn I have. I'm using up uh, whatever stash I have without buying any new yarn. That's my goal for this year. If I do run out, of course I will buy, but I will be using up what I have in my stash. Okay, last stitch number 48 all right and slip stitch to the top of the first half double crochet okay this does complete the base of the tray so now <clears throat> we're going to chain one and we're going to start building uh, the tray up so we're going to be starting with a single crochet into each stitch all the way around in the back loop only And there's one single crochet and I'm not sure if you can see what I'm doing here there's the back loop we're making single crochet into the back loop only we will have a total of 48 single crochet stitches all the way around Okay, I'm on my last stitch here. This is number 48. And then slip stitch to the top of the first single crochet. Okay. So now you can see that it's kind of building up, right? Chain one, and we're gonna start uh, with single crochets again in both stitches both loops and that's the really mu pretty much the uh the last steps here is just to make four more rows of single cro 
crochets all the way around to build this up. Now I designed this to fit um, four coasters, okay? If you want to make more than four, just uh, build up your tray a little bit long, uh, taller, okay? You can put, you know, you want to do a set of six coasters, just uh, put at least uh, three more rows of, um, three or four more rows of single crochet rounds, okay? But for uh, this tutorial, I'm just going to make four coasters um, to, uh, to fit this in this tray. So that there will be a total of five rounds of single crochet. That is the, um, that is it to the um, pattern, okay? I'll come back and show you how it looks like and then I'll start with the actual coaster pattern. Like I said, it will be very similar to uh, the base of this. All right, I'll be back. Okay, last stitch and we're done. Okay, slip stitch. All right. So like I said, um, there's five rows of the single crochet rows. So, and that makes that tall enough again for four coasters, okay? Let's go ahead and tie off and just finish this off. This tray you could use for anything, really. You don't have to do the... Um, uh, coaster set or face puff set or anything like that. You can use this as a, you know, like a catch-all. You can put your uh, bracelets and rings in there. Anything. I just love these little uh, trays. You can keep them um, pretty much anywhere. Let's go ahead and just hide all these tails. Tighten up that, you can close that hole up right there. Aren't these cute? You guys could definitely use any kind of uh, material to make this. <clears throat> but this is just so adorable. I love the style. Simple and clean. Okay, we are done with this little tray. It's so adorable. <clears throat> you can now go ahead and put in your coasters here. Isn't that cute? All right, now next I'm going to show you guys how to make the actual coasters. Again, they're very simple, easy design. This is where you're going to um, switch over to the smaller hook size, four and a half millimeter. I'm gonna make um, this in gray, okay? So starting off the same way, we're going to start off with the magic ring, magic circle, and chain one, and make eight single crochet into the ring, okay? Okay, close this up by pulling on the tail. And then of course slip stitch to the top of the first single crochet. All right, chain two. Put two double crochet into this stitch. And then two in each stitch all the way around, okay? And that will be a total of 16 double crochets. Okay, 
length is 16, slip stitch to the top of the first double crochet, chain one, one single crochet into the stitch, two single crochet into the next. And then we'll alternate between one and two throughout this row. One, and then two. One, and two. And that will total, uh, it will be a total of 24 single crochet all the way around. Last stitch with two single crochet. Oops. Okay, and slip stitch to the top of the first single crochet. Chain two. And then we're going to put two double crochet into each stitch all the way around. And that will total 48 double crochet. That for chain two does not count, so we'll put two double crochet here. All right, and then two in the next. This works up so quick and easy. You guys will uh, love this, making this. Okay, 48 double crochet, I'm done. Now go ahead and slip stitch to the top of the first double crochet. All right, chain one. Last round, we're gonna just put one single crochet into each stitch around and that will equal to 48 single crochet. Okay, last single crochet, now slip stitch. And we are done. Let's go ahead and tie off. And of course, the usual, we'll clean up our work. You guys, I'm so sorry. I just lost the footage. Um, I didn't re hit record. But anyway, I ended up finishing this row, single crochet all the way around, and then tied off. And I went ahead and hid all of my tail, pulling this tighter so the hole closes. And of course, this tail up here, hiding that. But yeah, you are done. Um, like I said, this one is great for four coasters. I'll put it here in this gray tray. And here's my white set. Isn't this adorable, guys? And then here's my extra uh, tray that I have. I'll probably put this on my bedside. Uh, so I can put, you know, my rings or whatever that I decided to take off. But yeah, this, this is great. It's useful and it's cute. I just love the simple designs. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed this video tutorial. If you guys have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comment section. Any information I have regarding this, um, I can put it in the description field. But thank you so much for um, watching and please give my video a thumbs up and of course subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so much and have a blessed day everyone. Bye!